There are now four coronavirus cases in Nevada, two in Washoe County, two in Clark County. Here's what we know so far about the latest case in the Valley. The second presumptive positive case was identified over the weekend. Presumptive positive, what it means, it's been confirmed by local health agencies, but the CDC has yet to confirm it with their tests. Today, the health district said the patient is a woman in her 70s, and she's currently being held in a hospital in isolation. The woman only reported in-state travel before developing the symptoms. Close contacts of the patient have been asked to self-quarantine for 14 days. The first coronavirus case here is a man in his 50s who recently traveled to Texas and Washington State. The man remains in serious condition at the VA health care system. The Dow saw its biggest point drop in history today, losing more than 2,000 points. Christine joins us in studio now with more on that. Yeah, sell off John doesn't begin to describe what happened on Wall Street today. The market tumble was sent off by the coronavirus and a new oil price war between Saudi Arabia and Russia. In terms of percentage losses, the blue chip index was down 7.8%, the worst number since the start of the Great Recession. The Nasdaq and S&P 500 didn't fare much better. They lost more than 7% each. Those were the biggest losses since December 2008. The drop in the S&P 500 was so steep, trading was suspended for 15 minutes this morning. Lawmakers in Washington are trying to figure out ways to help Americans who may be impacted by this hit on Wall Street. It's very sad, but I, I believe the, what we know about the Dow is that they want certainty. They want to have confidence that there is a plan. Democratic members of the Senate Banking Committee wrote a letter to the heads of top financial regulators urging them to issue guidelines on how to help affected people as well as affected businesses. The president said today he's working on a possible payroll tax relief so businesses can still pay employees who are affected by the coronavirus and so no one misses a paycheck. The president plans to hold another news conference tomorrow about steps to help the economy.